Hello everyone and welcome to this video, this is High Will, I am Will, in today's video I will be reacting to Season 5, Episode 11 of she and the Princesses of Power. So, today's episode is called... Failsafe. Failsafe. Fail. I don't know. A strike team infiltrates Mr. Core, searching for the hard spot. Failsafe? 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 Maybe. The Crystal of Arxia. Arxia. Did I say it right? Hopefully. Entrapta and Swiftwind gather data on the chip network. Okay, so they're going to Mr. Core. We already knew that on the last episode. At least I think. I saw the episode for like four days ago. So my memory is not that good on it. But yeah, looks nice. Um. I'm excited to see Entrapta and Swiftwind um, talking, I think. They're characters that don't interact with each other, so it's always nice to see like new connections. Um, okay, so what do I have to say today? We only have three episodes to go. That honestly makes me sad. Really sad. I'm not gonna think too much about it, if not I'm gonna be crying, but... Thank you all for watching my videos of Shira and for supporting me that means the world for me and I would not be here doing this video if it wasn't for everyone that watches my videos so thank you all um yeah with that said be sure to give a big thumbs up if you like this reaction comment down below mm, I don't know comment whatever I will ask you on the on the end because I don't know what to expect from this episode and yeah I don't know so comment something even if it's just like my day has been great and that's good for you <laughs> I'm happy for you um, subscribe for more Shiver content we only have three episodes two more videos besides this one and then I don't know it depends on you guys Whatever you guys um, decide to do, I'm here for it. So, with this said, oh, follow me on my Instagram, and yeah, with this said, without wasting any more of your time, let's go and watch season 5, episode 12 of she and the Princess. Oh, tw not 12, um, 11. Today I added 12, uh, episode 12, season 4, so sorry. So let's watch season 5, episode 10, 11 oh, oh, of <laughs> Shira and the Princess of Power. Let's go. Whoa. While you were traipsing around in space, some of us have been working to stop the heart of Etheria from falling into Prime's hands. And we discovered the same thing you did. Rumors of a failsafe that will break the restraints the first ones built. Failsafe? They spoke about this on the last episode. I totally forgot it. Failsafe, not failsafe. Failsafe. Go ahead. Oh. Yeah, go for it. Beneath Mysticore, there are many secret tunnels and rooms, forgotten and sealed off. No one has been able to access them in centuries, but there are whispers of what they contain. An artifact known as the Crystal of Arxia, hidden there by a group of traitorous... I really like the, the mystery that cast Spella, anti-spell, whatever she called it, Casta. Um, Glimmer's aunt. I really love the, the difference between, like, there's something inside of it, something under it, and it's a mystery. And some people think, and then you have Shadow just like, it's the failsafe. I do like that difference, it's cool when somebody's telling a story. No, Shadow Reaper's taking all of the emotion of it, but <laughs> it's relatable. First one. You said I could do it! You were taking too long. <laughs> Arch it's the only lead we have. We have to try. It'll have to be a stealth mission. Catra, do you think you and Milog can... Oh, leave her to sulk. We can't let her slow us down. You guys get ready. I'll find her. We're on the edge of green. I mean, I understand that if Catra doesn't want to work with Shadow Waver, I mean, she pretty much hurt her a lot. 
and I'll probably feel the same. But yeah, like we don't we don't have time to lose. So, catch where you kind of need you to like get over it and move on at least for now. Then you can punch her, maybe kill her if you want. I'm 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 here for you. Um, but yeah. Try to move on until the world is kind of saved and do whatever you want with her. Well, okay, new thing on the intro. There's no perf uh, not perfume, um, Spinarella on the hard controlled guy, so that's cool. Are we gonna have a change of the intro every time that one of them gets like over? It's controlled. I'm here for it. <laughs> Oh, look at them. They're kissing. Oh, yay. At least that. They're so cute. The only plan we have. The fail safe yeah. to finally save Etheria. <laughs> Shadow Weaver heard us. I haven't forgotten that. But Prime is hurting so many more people. I need to stop him. That's true. We... I could really use your help. Oh. Fine. She gave I'm only her doing hand. this to make sure Shadow Weaver doesn't try anything. Not because I like you. <laughs> what you do? <laughs> See? Um. Malloc. 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 That's it. Um. This cat feels emotions. And you start, um. Linking slash. Being cute with you, so he's feeling something. <laughs> I was finally able to remove Spinnerella's chip, but it was a lot more difficult than removing Catra's. The oh, chip had that's bad. Entirely flattered. I could disrupt. That's smart. Severing his connection to the chips and taking them all offline at once. That's, that's amazing. Smart. We yeah. could free everyone on Etheria. You're a genius, Entrapta. Just keep working on it until you get it. We'll be back later tonight. You got it. I really love. I really love Bob's um, optimism and being like, you got it. You know, that it's good to have a friend like that. It's really good because most of your friends are going to say, you can't do it. <laughs> no, <laughs> hopefully your friends don't say that. But it's really nice to have someone that is supportive as him and optimistic and be like, yay, I believe in you. I, I like that. That's why I want a bow in my life. Oh god. I thought this lady would be blind, but actually could see them. Just then. Good. Okay. Oh, the crystal place. The one that uh, we, they kind of destroyed. Like when you put your voice down to Don't touch me! That thing is called trauma. So don't touch her. <laughs> we have to hurry. Yeah, be careful, guys. Is she gonna see her statue? We're here. Oh, she didn't Follow care about. Would I please kill you? Be careful, guys. Whoa, that's cool. Hey, are you? That's... Come on. That was we your fault. <laughs> Leave her alone. What is all of this? We're on the right path. Maybe the, the story crystal. from Etheria or how to disable the weapon, I don't know, but something like that, I would guess. Yeah. It's a shame it didn't run in the family. Oh, now Glimmer is not liking you so much as she was. Please be careful. Can't she just like hop in him and fly to get a better signal? Maybe they don't see her if she's flying. Yes, I got it. Oh, be careful, be careful. Is that Hordak? Is that Hordak? I hope that's Hordak because he's been on the intro 
for a long since just the beginning of the season, and he hasn't basically been doing anything besides showing up and be like, interrupt. Uh. So I, I hope that's Hordak. Did you oh. just jump into fire for me? What? <laughs> no! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> you did. <laughs> that was cute. Everyone be careful. I mean, I don't know how illusions work on this world, but if it was an illusion, they should just not feel the heat. But maybe they feel it anyways. What if I'm losing her? Shira is a being of pure magic. To unleash her full strength, you must be focused, clear-headed. Yeah. But you're letting your emotions pull you in too many directions. That's basically what I said in the last episode. She just needs to do it in the moment. Like she did every time that she did it was to save Katra. So she knew what she was going to do. Like it was like a... I'm not going to say she knew what she was going to do. But it was, she felt it. Like it was like a bomb. She kind of exploded into Shira. So I think she needs to be focused on, on doing the right thing. It needs to be the exact moment. No matter what. <laughs> Who are you? What are you doing here? That's for Dak. Why do I know your face? Go. Maybe then these memories, these imperfections will leave me. Remember, your imperfections are beautiful. Yeah, they are. That's what makes you human. Even though you're a clone. It's stored inside the crystal. So, what do we... It needs a password. I think you already know what it is. Materia! We are friends of Mara. Oh. Okay, that. Except the failsafe. What does that mean? It means the failsafe must be bonded to a willing soul and carried to the heart of Etheria in their body in order to be deployed. I vote in Shadow Weaver. We sacrifice her. And hopefully she doesn't kill us, but I vote in her and then she dies. On when we're trying to kill the weapon. Destroy the weapon. I don't know if I trust her with the power, but if someone has to die, I choose her. It's not personal. It's just I like them better. Adora, don't go in there. Katra, this is not the time. Someone must take the failsafe. So you do it then. Yeah. Thanks, Katra. What Prime will be defeated. Your friends will be free. No. Go you yourself. You planning this all along. Why are you surprised by it's this? It's not going to work. There is no way we're risking Adora like that. She's gonna do it. She's gonna do it. Oh no. Come on. Focus. Uh oh. This battle is looking pretty ugly. On a sense that I like it, you know? But, um, what I think they should do, I think Kalora should, should just go through it, and, I mean, if she has to do it, do it. If not, let's throw Shadow Weaver there and see just what happens. Maybe something cool happens, I don't know. Um, yeah, be careful. Or, if she doesn't go there, at least transform Adora, focus on that. Uh, is he gonna stop it? Maybe, probably. No. Is she gonna stop it? Transform now. <laughs> Do it, Dora. For the honor of Yes. 
Kasha, I know that this is hard, but I think you should be with her because if she dies, which I don't think she will, but if she would, if I was in a situation, I'll just like lay down next to her and just enjoy the moments that you have with her in case that they're the last ones. But I know it's hard, so I'm not like judging. If she can't see her die, I mean, I get that soon. you no you don't you never have mm. I'm sad no but I gonna totally get Catra's side Catra! but I am not doing it for you I'll do everything I can to make sure you never get your hands on the magic Okay, so the episode is over, so let's just talk a little about it. I feel like I want to cry. You guys, you have no idea. This episode was heavy, you know? All these decisions between love and having to save the world, like, I get everyone. And that sucks. In terms of, I don't know which side I would be on. Because, I mean, I understand... Adora's side that she wants to save the world and she wants everybody to be okay, but then I understand Catra too, she just wants her to say that I want you, you know, and she she's just she just feels like if they were in a relationship that she would never be able to be she would never be happy and Adora would not ever be happy because she would always have to sacrifice for something bigger because there's always gonna be some evil in the in the world. So Catra is just feeling that she will, every time that something good will happen to them, that she will just lose Adora in the end, because there's something, there's always going to be something bad happening. And eventually she may just die, and she doesn't want to watch her die. She doesn't want to watch her die. Yeah, I said it right. Um, and, I, and I get it, and that makes me so sad. I mean... They're not enemies, again, which is good, but yeah, it's just, just sad. I don't know. And when when Adora screamed like Catra, I, I just felt it so much. Well, what a damn good, well-written episode, you know. I loved it. Um, so, if, if I, this is probably not a surprise for you, but I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Because I, I loved, I loved the tension, I loved the emotion, I loved everything. I'm sad that Catra left, but I know she's still liking the good side. She just doesn't want, she just doesn't want to watch um, Adora die, which I get it. Like I, I would if I were in her position. I don't know. Again, I said, I, I had that, I, I said that like she could just be with her until the last moment. It would be like the last moments. But on the other hand, I can totally see see that point of she wanted to go, so she doesn't have she doesn't have to watch her dying, she, uh, Adora dying. Which I don't know. It's just every thought makes sense, and that's sad. And yeah, I'm not going to talk too much about it, because it's basically all the same. Um, so, I'm just going to ask, where are my Horde kids? Where are my children? Um, where is Antara? Where is Ms. Raz? Are they all possessed? Like, I want to know. Where are they? I want I want to see them. I want to see if they're okay or not. Probably the Horde, um, my Horde trio is all controlled probably miss raz i don't think so she's kind of well well hiding maybe she will appear on the next two episodes but yeah and damn two episodes to finish shira oh my god i can't even think about it you know i 
God, um, it's been an amazing, amazing ride. And I can't believe that it's gone, you know? By one side, I'm happy. But for the other side, I want more. Um, so yeah, before I start crying here, <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna say the usual stuff. If you like this reaction, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what side are you on on this? Are you kind of on the side? Or do you understand Catch when you're on her side? Are you in both like me? Like, I can choose. Um, be sure to subscribe for more Shira and other show slash cartoon content. Right now, I don't know what I'm gonna do after Shira. I mean, I have some options in my head, but um, I'm just gonna wait some time until Shira is officially over on my channel so I can decide and think. So I can just take a little break from cartoons, even though I, I like them. Like to, today, I was watching Amph Amphibia, but that's not the type of food that I wanna react because Amphibia is more like filler stuff and. I just watched that to fun, so yeah, it's not the type of show that I would like to talk here. Cartoon. Um, so yeah, I don't have plans. I mean, there are some shows that people ask me and some that I already know that I'm not gonna do it. Because I started watching the first episode and I didn't like it or just even vibe with it like the um, Dragon Prince. I think that was it. I started watching the first episode and I just didn't felt it. So yeah, I, I don't want to say that I'm open, <laughs> I'm not really open to suggestions, I think I'm gonna like do a rewatch of some like show from my time, like I would say like Impossible, um, some of those older shows that I, that I know that I, that I would enjoy, um, or some show related, related or similar to she and that type of vibe, but yeah, tell me, tell me please, give me your opinions on that, because I, I don't know, I have no idea. I mean, I have the idea, I just told you that I would like to rewatch old shows and think what I, what I think about it now, like American Dragon, I haven't watched that for such a long time. So those shows that I watched when I was a kid and that you see every post on Instagram about old show versus new shows saying that the old ones are better, like, let's see if they are really better. All of those terms, um, but yeah, and if you, and if you want to say like you can, you can see miraculous. I can try to edit them. I've seen. Um, I I usually see Robins. I don't know. I think it's R A R V N or something like that. I know the girl of the channel is called Robin. She reacts to miraculous and. Um, I could do what she does that is post like a, a picture in front of the of the episode and and put in a song so copywriting would not be a problem there so if you want me to react to the rest of season 4 of Miraculous I would do it you would probably have like me watching random episodes in random languages I'm not I'm not I'm following the order of release not the order of the the show itself but if you want that I watch Miraculous by myself I wouldn't mind watching for the channel so that's a that's a good option but the thing about Miraculous it's it's random when the episodes come so but yeah I could do that Miraculous company if you guys want um, follow me on my Instagram for more Shiva and other um, shows content basically to know a little better of my life and yeah I haven't posted nothing there I'm just not feeling it but there will be a time that I'll feel Instagram vibes, so I'll just go there, but yeah, go follow it, uh, if you want. Um, and yeah, that's that's it. Um, sorry for talking a lot on this time, but um, yeah. I need to go to my room and cry a little bit. <laughs> I'm struggling with this episode, it was really good, and I just can't believe that we only have two more episodes to go, so yeah. I hope you guys have an amazing morning evening, night, whatever, whenever you are. And this is how I will, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Woo. And be sure to watch my other shows. Normally I put here The Howl House, because I think it's a similar show. And if you guys never watched The Howl House, go watch it. Like, 
It's a really good show. I really can't wait for season two. And if you already watched it, go watch my reactions. I'm not gonna say they're really, they have a really good quality because they don't. That's how I start my channel. So um, those are the videos that I won't probably ever see again unless it's like, oh, I hit like 100 subscribers. Let's watch my first video to see the difference and to watch me cringe about it. Um, so yeah, go watch the Hell House if you didn't already. It's really good. I see a lot of inspirations on the Hell House from Shira. So yeah, go go watch it. And yeah, that that was it. Have a beautiful day, because I'll talk to you tomorrow on the next reactions. But have an amazing week. And let's say it like that. Bye guys. Peace out.